turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Still working with this little tiny budget torch. It's not tiny. It's a, it's a, it's a long torch, but the flame that you can get off of this torch is tiny. I mean, come on now. It's, 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 it's down there. It's, it's, it's really, really so, tiny, small. What I plan on doing real quick, I have no clue. <laughs> I just did a couple of videos real quick with some dichro, tiny dichro strips that I had. I made this lizard here and this dolphin in the last video. And the couple of videos, the last video before that, I did, or two videos before that, I did a little dino dinosaur and a seahorse and they were made out of um the two green ones there were made out of the uh sparkling grape juice bottle that i that i've done a couple of videos off of and just showing you that you don't have to you don't have to use you know expensive glass to get going just to play and learn never hurts if you've got the money go for it thank heavens but this torch um as you heard it only cost me ninety dollars and that's the truth um that was shipped uh, although i have noticed that was a special over christmas where they gave you free shipping i'll have to remember that next year uh if there's something i want to get around christmas time it was free shipping I guess to get you to want to buy things. Okay. One of the first things I ever learned how to do. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, this will work. I learned how to make a land turtle. There's one leg. That's this is the very first video or first lesson that I give people now. Um, is a sea turtle or a snail and the sea turtle is pretty or the land turtle not the sea turtle is just what, what I'm doing right now you add four legs and you just heat up add two heat up a little bit go down the leg and pull it off as you see there and I'm gonna make that one a little bit longer and they don't have to be exactly they just have to be close. That one needs to be a little bit longer. There we go. And you can tell by just oop, just by heating it up a little bit, all of them. And then what I'm going to do is heat them all up and flatten it. Boom. Now, the tail and the head can go, but they've got to go opposite of each other. Okay? Then you pick a spot for the head and you heat it up, pull it out a little bit and go up and you heat it up a little bit, pull it out a little bit and go out. And you got a nice long neck turtle, but a turtle and you can round it in a little bit and it rounds right back down, which is good. And the tail to this turtle, it's the same idea, but all you got to do is touch like you do for the, the uh, legs. And make it a little pointy. Now, I have to take this off of there. And I should have done it beforehand and then gone back to it. But we'll do this cold weld at the bottom. And cold welds are basically where you heat up one and then touch it to the other and it'll hold for a little while until you finish what you're doing. And then you could usually tap it off right at that spot and the cold weld comes off but sometimes the cold weld is a little bit stronger weld than you wanted it to be and it doesn't come off too easily but in this case I'm pretty sure I did a weld that should come off quite nicely just hold it and and at this size there you go little tiny seed uh, land turtle itsy bitsy teeny weeny I hope you enjoyed that. I did. 
I've been having fun doing those sea turtles and land turtles. Um, and that's the very first lesson that I give, is how to do that little turtle. And yes, it takes a little bit longer for the person that doesn't know, but basically you make that that um, derby shape, round head, oop, there went right down on the floor. That's my luck. I just ran over it too, didn't I? I'll never find it at this point. Maybe I can pause, hold it. Yeah, I can pause. There we go, I found it. it didn't take too long. The craziest thing is, it was still hot, but I was able to pick it up with my fingers because it's cooled down that quickly because it's not a lot of glass to be hot with. And anyway, you make the derby shape, like I said, with it. And then you put the four legs on, and then the head and the tail. And if you get good at it, not too bad. Thanks for watching again. Carpe Vitro. Enjoy your day.